Hi, my name is Bunsen Werner. I'm an occult. Do I need a lawyer? No, you should be good. Okay, I'm gonna trust you on this one. So, um, what do you do in this cult? Well, it's all about worshiping the Lord. You know, this is good name. You see, one time, me and the buddies, we found out these. We were just, you know, getting a little bit of tabs fast, you know, casual middle school things. And what essentially happened was I felt this warmth, this light surround me. I looked up, and it was the Lord Himself. He told me, go to a school, join a cult, worship me. And then I saw some like crazy like gnomes and cartoons happening and I was like, this, this seems like it's honest something. So what can you tell about other members of this cult? Uh, some of the interesting ones I would say would probably be uh, Valedictorian. Valedictorian? Valedictorian. Valerie herself. She's a little intense, but <laughs> being the cool guy, you know, she talks to me. Um, she's all about worship, all about the Lord. That's probably why her grades are so good. People make deals with the devil, some people make deals with the Lord. So how has the cult affected your life outside of itself? Um, well, now that I think about it, uh, those buddies I did after with, uh, I don't really talk to them that much anymore. I kind of miss them, actually. Um, just do it all the time. But it's okay, I got the Lord. I got the light. Okay. Are you happy? The Lord works in mysterious ways. Look that, look that. Not now. I have questions about your student organization? I said, not now. According to Bunsen Burns, you're running a cult. We'll be in touch. Hi, I'm Valerie Dictorian, but I'll allow you to call me Val. I'm part of Whole E Student Organization, and I'm here to talk about what we do. We are an intuitive worship group led by our phenomenal Dean of Students, Whole Egerton. Every week we meet to worship and pray for the following week. It's a truly orgasmic fellowship experience. So it's just a religious cult? Mm, no, we don't. Oh, can we edit that out? We just, we don't use that word. We don't use the, yeah, no, we don't. We don't talk Sure, sure. Um, so besides gathering in worship of your Lord, um, what else does your organization do? Oh, I'm glad you asked. We do a lot of intuitive spiritual work and uh, massages. We massage each other occasionally. Um, we have a whole mission statement. I can shoot you an email with the info. Hey man, I don't even know if you're gonna get this in time, but look, look, it's important. They're really scary, man. Don't trust them. As you can see, there's nothing suspicious going on with our little worship group. And all those rumors of us being a cult are very mistaken. So what made you start this organization? Well, I must admit, in my youth, I was led astray and was full of sin. And I don't see that happening with today's youth. So I find them and I direct them to the path of our Lord. <laughs> Take Bunsen, for example. Now, he's a straight -in student, getting good grades, and I'm happy to have put him on his path. So you're helping students? Yes. By turning Bunsen Burns into a drug addict? He's not. Okay, what about um, Valerie? Do you know about her constant mental breakdowns? She, ha she doesn't. I wonder what other students are going through for the sake of your Lord. Why are you hitting yourself? Right. Huh? Why are you hitting yourself? <laughs> Where's Egerton? Where's Egerton? That's none of your business. Me and his name. No. He's having a problem now. Huh? He's having a problem. Where's my camera guy? <laughs> what camera guy? Yeah. My camera guy.
So why don't you introduce yourself and what you do? Well, my name is Gorham, and I'm the World Eater. He who festers in shadows. I collect the souls of the- Yes, yes, we met yesterday at one of your disciples' sermons. Oh, yes. You killed me! Well, it's what you do, you know. You don't get quite the epithet without reaping a few souls. You must understand. So it's part of your job. Exactly, and it's not like it's the most fun job. I kind of just fell into it in college, and it got out of hand. Don't get me wrong, I think I could have done worse, but I also think that if things had gone another way, I might have been a little happier. Fair enough. Thanks for listening, man. I don't get opportunities like this much. No problem. Although it seems like I'm out of time, I can feel my life force becoming one of yours. Oh, well, thanks for having me. Welcome to the fold.